Hi, welcome to today's little video. I'm just tying a batch of these fellas up, so I thought I'd just uh, switch the camera on and show you how to tie one. It's a, a sugar cube um, uh, emerger pattern. This particular one is made from hairs here, and it's a big fly as well. Uh, I love these uh, at the moment on Jigbra and other small waters. When we're getting the first hatches of big buzzer, these big grey boys, they tend to be a large buzzer. Uh, and these sugar cubes uh, are just seem to do the job on them. Uh, they just sit there on the surface where they need to be. Uh, they're very easy to use because of this nice big foam post up here. You don't have to worry about keep dinking things up and drying things out too much. Um, yeah, been using a lot of these the last few weeks. So I thought I'd just quickly show you how to tie one up. So it's very simple. So uh, the hook is a size 8 B160. As I said, big, big hook, nice big hook, lovely big wide gape and that kind of offsets that post we're going to have up the top here. Uh, should that turn at all when the fish trying to engulf it, it's still got a nice big wide gape here and nothing to get masked and you should get a decent hook set. Uh, thread for this is uh, UTC Olive uh, in 70. I like to use the UTC for just about everything nowadays. So I'm going to start at the head here at the top here and just catch ourselves in. There we go. Let's trim the excess off. Okay, so the post itself on the sugar cube is a foam piece of foam cylinder. All right, just a piece of bo booby cord, booby foam cylinder. Uh, make them big and small, whatever size you want, whatever size the flies you're you tying. This one to me looks to be about, I don't know, four mil or something like that. So what we're going to do is just angle that, just so lay it down and hook a bit better. So I'm just going to cut an angle across there, just like that. It's got a nice angle there. Pop that into the top of the hook, hold it in place and just whip over the top and just catch it in just like that. Right at the head of the hook. Now we're going to come back and shape this after we finish tying the fly. It's much easier to do when the fly's been tied. So for the minute, we're just going to take that thread that's caught in nicely now, take that thread all the way down just to about the bend of the hook there. Okay. Uh, the rib on this is uh, the pearl miler uh, number 14 okay so we're just going to catch that in next right back here it's a very quick very easy but very effective fly to tie this one uh, the body material is uh hairs here okay hairs here natural um or you can use squirrel as well. I, I do like using squirrel actually I've run out of squirrel at the moment so I've been using this hairs here. Works exactly the same. So we're just gonna dub some of that on. Just dub that on. Not overly thick but enough to give the hook a good bit of coverage. Okay, we don't want it too bulky. We want that suggestion of a buzzer but at the same time when it gets wet we don't something's gonna sink you know it's, it's going to pull the rest of the fly under so and a reasonable amount of that on the dubbing rope like so okay and then we're just going to bring that round and start dubbing up the fly trying not to hit the camera of course the camera's a little bit too close so that's better and we're just going to work our way up just stopping shy head of the fly okay with the rib just bring it up three turns through the body one two three and catch it off again just before the head nice and easy and trim that off so that's your body of your fly okay doesn't look like that much at the moment but this next bit will make it all come to life. So I'm going to use some wing buds on this, some cheeks on this, so a nice bit of uh, sunburst um, goose here. I'm just going to take off a couple of the biots, a couple of the nice parts, just going to cut them off just there. And we're going to offer them up to the fly, one other side, one on this side, just catch it in behind the head. Three turns on this side. Just hold it in there. Just catch that in. A few turns again, so it's all nice and locked in. And just tidy that up by dubbing another little bit of hairs 
a bit of top of that. Oh, I've got to get myself a new bobbin. <laughs> I'll just have a bit more hairs over the top of that. Just to tidy this up. Behind the head. Like so. And that's all the time. And you just bring that forward and just finish it off in front of the eye. Look, finishing tool. Just like so. Okay. Now, next thing to do, a little drop of varnish just to secure that knot. Only a little drop. Again, you know, we'll be over clogging it with varnishes and stuff. Just enough, just in there, just enough to secure the knot. Just make your eyes nice and clear. Just run it. Then we're just going to trim these wing buds down just to give ourselves a little angle. So with these scissors, and this side just trim down like so. And this side, just going to do the same thing and follow the angle. Just like that. So you end up with two wing buds nicely trimmed off just here. And the same on the other side, just around there. And we want to take this post down a little bit that's a little bit big for my liking so i'm going to take a little bit off that post there i'm just going to trim a little bit off there just to take it down and i'm also going to round the edges i don't know if it makes a difference but it looks for a neater pattern so i'll just take it quickly off the vise and just trim that around there That's it, that's all there is to it. Back in the vise. You can see what it how it looks like a nice chunky buzzer pattern. It's got that right profile about it, it's got a bit of fuss about it. And what I am gonna do, just to add that little bit more fuss about that, because I do like these sort of dry flies to have plenty of fuss on them. Just gonna take my velcro brush, and I'm just gonna scruff that up. Not too much, but just enough to I just feel it gives it a bit of life. And that's it. That's it. That's the pattern. That's a little emerger, sugar cube emerger. Here's your emerger. That's five minute tie, nice and quick. Uh, but extremely effective. Now, I'm fairly robust actually for a dry fly. That will last you for a few fish. Um, tighten the bubble with some people, of course. Uh, but just remember that nice wide gate. Uh, to me, that just offsets that piece of foam there a bit twists when the fish takes it um, and it gives it a nice uh, point of purchase there so I hope you like that uh, I'll leave a link to all the materials in the description uh, and as always um, give us a like uh, and a subscribe and I'm sure over the next few weeks the way things are I'm going to have plenty of time to do some more videos but thanks very much bye bye